Good morning, Delia. Good morning, Ma. Can you tell us about yourself? Uh, my name is Delia C. Fernandez. I am 31 years old. I am separated mother. I am. I have two children. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, Delia. So let's start. Okay. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to. I want to uh, give my children's needs. Why you choose abroad? Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I want to go Malaysia because uh, same. Uh, they have same time in the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? I will. I will do my my best to make my uh, employers uh, take care for their children. May I know what was your educational level is? I am a high school graduate. Mom. What was your latest working experience? Working before uh, late. As of now, I don't have a work okay. here in the Philippines. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Which country? Kuwait. For how many years? Three years. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies did you take care before? Uh, my children and uh, my employer's children. Okay, how about assisting elderly? Do you have experience? I don't have one. Okay, do you have any other special skills? No, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook, Delia? I can cook uh, Filipino food and Arabic food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? I like uh, Catholic mass. Okay. Yes. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? I like uh, wash, uh, cleaning the, the house. If ever you will be selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My relatives, uh, like my auntie and my mother also. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to yes. bed. Yes. You are yes, strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your working performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Yes. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand, Delia? Four years. Can you describe? Four years, ma'am. For us, your attitude? I have a hard working and uh, honest, helpful, and understanding mom. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will, I, I, I need, uh, I will do a lot of patience. To, to to work within two years in Malaysia, working in Malaysia. Can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? 
Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food, Delia? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you scared of dogs or other pets? Only, only dogs, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? Don't help, ma'am. We have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. Okay, I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, okay, one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will ask my employer if they can uh, send me, or if they don't have, if they didn't uh, allow me to go, I will uh, I will ask my salary to send me a for my family. Okay. If in case right now your employer is watching you, what do you want to tell them, Delia? Why they need to hire you? I tell to my to my employer. Uh, this mom choose me. I will take care of your uh, children, and I will do my I will do my best and hard work hard work inside your house, like cleaning and cooking and washing your clothes and ironing. Uh, that's it. Okay. Tell us about yourself again. I am an I am an uh, myself. I am honest and heartbreaker at all time. Uh, go to duty. That's it, ma'am. Okay, and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, my, uh, I want to work in Malaysia because uh, ma I think Malaysia is same like a Philippines means same time. The t uh, time in Philippines and same time also in Malaysia. I don't need to adjust the time. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Delia. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am.